I want to talk about the common medications that we use, especially in in our setting. Mm. So in our setting, um, the most common is a group called calcium channel blockers. So calcium is important for contracting of the heart mm. and contracting of the blood vessels. So what calcium channel blockers do is that they prevent calcium from going into the cell, meaning they're preventing um, contraction of the blood vessels and of the heart because when your blood vessels are smaller, meaning there's more pressure, mm. it's just like having, um, when you have a small horse pipe, a smaller horse pipe will give you higher pressure mm. than a bigger horse pipe. So when the diameter is big, uh, water flows out yeah. slowly. slowly. But when it's small, you have a higher pressure. So the calcium tunnel blockers will help dilate the blood vessels, hence reducing the pressure exerted on the on the walls of the blood vessel. So the most common in our setting is nifedipine. Nifedipine, yeah. Yes, nifedipine and amlodipine. So those are calcium channel blockers and that's how they work. The other common ones that we use are called beta blockers. Mm. So beta blockers will lower your um, heart rate. By by that, they're also lowering your, your blood pressure. So common beta blockers are things like labetalo, atenalo, uh, propranalo, cavedilo, yes. Then the other group that I want to talk about is what we call ACE inhibitors, which is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, which prevent this enzyme from uh, uh, from forming this angiotensin. So angiotensin will have an effect on the blood vessels of the body and it causes narrowing. So by preventing the formation of angiotensin, you're preventing the narrowing of blood vessels. So the common one that we use is um, enalapril. Mm. Then we have diuretics. So diuretics um, are used to, they increase the excretion of water and sodium mm. by the kidneys. So by doing that, you're also reducing the, the blood pressure. And the common ones are furosemide or Lasix, as people call them. Then you have um, thiazides like um, hydrochlorothiazide. Yes. Then um, the other group that I would like to talk about is um, angiotensin receptor inhibitor uh, inhibitors. Yeah, angiotensin 2 receptor inhibitors. So... Um, these ones are also preventing the effect of angiotensin on the blood vessels. So angiotensin causes narrowing. If you, do, if you, you don't have angiotensin acting on the blood vessel, you won't have the narrowing. So the common one in this, um, in this group is, um, what's, what's it called again? Tell me Satan. So those, of, those people are taking Telma H. So Telma H is a combination of Telmisatan and hydrochlorothiazide. So you're taking a combination of um, a diuretic and an angiotensin II receptor blocker. Yeah, I think I think those are the main ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the main groups. So some people just take diuretics, and I know some people take. Um, what is called moduretic, which is also another combination. So these are the common drugs in our setting. And depending on how you respond, we, we usually give them in combination. But Africans, uh, we tend to respond well to calcium channel blockers like nifedipine and amlodipine. So we usually start with those and we add something on like enalapril and other things like beta blockers and come in.